Summertime fishing means fishing efficiently. Boy, that was a mouthful. Summertime fishing means fishing efficiently, but it's so true. Our lakes and river systems are extremely different than in the late winter and early spring. One, the vegetation is just about at its peak. It could be thicker than it ever has been before. Most areas have had some pretty severe storms come through at some point. That means there could be more timber and brush in the water system. Recreational boat traffic is at its peak right now, which means depending on the vegetation you have in your body of water, there could be pieces of eel grass or milfoil hydrill, all this just floating all over the place and each of your casts may get fouled up. So that's what we need to talk about today is efficiency. How do we fish efficiently in the summertime? Okay, in our last couple videos, we have talked about locating summer bass. And if you watch the channel, you know we're talking about horizontal moving baits to locate those fish. And crankbaits are a great way to do that. So how do I fish a crankbait more efficiently? efficiently, especially if you've got a pond or lake or river that has a ton of vegetation in there. In the early spring or that late winter when that grass is just starting, we discussed using a medium power rated rod and that's just a good all around crankbait rod and it'll load up, load up, load up and then you can just pop that crankbait free from the vegetation, especially the lipless crankbaits. But as that grass and vegetation gets thicker, it is very difficult to rip it free. So here's a real, real easy tip for you. Go ahead and go up in size for power rating. So that means on my crankbait rod, instead of the medium power rating, I'm gonna go to a medium heavy. And you can still buy crankbait rods with a medium heavy power rating, but they've still got more of a parabolic action. You can also get away with, in this thickest vegetation, going with a traditional, what I like to call a bottom bouncing jig rod, your medium heavy jig rod. Those are gonna rip that lure, that crankbait or lipless crankbait out of that heavy vegetation much, much more effectively than a traditional moderate power rated rod. So that is the first thing you can do to up your efficiency. You might have somebody else in the boat that is just picking grass off their crankbait constantly. You can go ahead and run it down into the weeds and then rip it with a strong, powerful rod. And you know that lure is gonna clean up much, much better than if you were using a lower power rated rod. So that's definitely my first tip for fishing crankbaits efficiently in the summertime to keep them free and fouled up of vegetation. Okay, now if you're trying to attack offshore ledges, your traditional ledge fishing where the lake or, you know, whatever river dumps into a river channel or maybe you're hitting some offshore points. So you're going for those bass that are deeper. It is so, so common to put on your drop shots, your shaky heads, wacky rigs, those types of things, and just let that fall, 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 fall. Well, you can spend the majority of your day waiting for those lures to drop and get to the bottom. So to be more efficient, to cover more water, that's where you wanna up the size of your weights. That's where I'm going with the power shot rig. I'm gonna have a half ounce drop shot weight on there and that bait is just gonna fly right to the bottom. But I know that it's down where the fish are and then I can sit there and hop at a time or two, move on and make my next cast. This is when I'm gonna be using a heavier shaky head jig head, same type of deal, a weighted wacky rig. I want to get to the bottom as fast as possible and I want the majority of my presentation of each cast for that lure to be in the strike zone. I don't want to waste time getting there and coming back. So that's where the high speed reel helps as well. Now if you're fishing matted vegetation, okay, if you're doing something like a punch rig, that is where once again really get the size of those weights up pretty high punch that lure through, make sure you have a very compact soft plastic. You don't want the appendages really hanging off to the side and getting hung up on the way down. So let that punch rig get through that surface vegetation, get to the bottom, hop at a time or two, pull it up where it's just underneath that emergent vegetation, bang it a time or two against the top, reel it in, do it again. So down to the bottom, 
up to the top, new presentation. You can cover water efficiently, quickly, and you are getting one cast closer to locating the school of summertime bass. Now remember, once you find them, work that spot over. I don't care if it's large mouth or small mouth. In the summertime, they are going to be in groups. I just came off a river a week ago and there were so many times where we'd see one small mouth, we'd catch it, and then on the way in, there's six, seven, eight more smallmouth with it. They, they are going to be in groups this time of year. You may have to let the school settle down okay go fish another spot come back to it especially smallies tend to get all worked up and then they'll turn off for a bit and you got to kind of let them relax and settle down but i can't emphasize enough when you locate a fish fish that area thoroughly because whatever's down there is something that they like and feel comfortable with one example is in a recent ledge fishing video and underwater footage the surface temperature was 85 to 86 degrees we took our camera down to about 20 25 feet the water temp was 58 degrees that is a huge difference so those fish are going to locate where they are the most comfortable so that's where if you find one work it over you've probably got yourself a school summertime efficiency is so critically important and if you want to watch a video on how to work over weed beds efficiently go ahead and check out this one right here some of these weed beds this time of year can be massive so how do we unlock those key locations within these very very large expanses of weed beds and don't forget to go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.